Hello and welcome to this Windows 7 Quick Tips video. In this video I will show you how to play SWF files in Windows 7. I am running Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate and I am running MPC Home Cinema or MPC HC as it's called with the LAV filters and the MAD VR and all that kind of stuff. And when I go in to play an SWF file I get a problem. Error. Flash player for IE is required. This is not solved by installing VLC, uh, Video Land Player. And I don't want to install big giant codec packs, nor do I want to try to convert these videos. Those are all options you may pursue if you wish. I have found a simpler solution. You need a piece of software first. And no, I'm not going to have you download a program. You need to have the Adobe Flash Player. And if you go to this address, you can get the offline version of the installer. If you prefer the online version, go to the normal download page. And you get this, you download it, and you install it, obviously. Uh, if you already have this installed, then you're already set up. You don't need to worry about it. But you do need this player, Flash Adobe Flash Player, installed on your system. And you're going to have to have it there anyway to be able to view some content, unfortunately. Uh, but you can disable its automatic updates, and there's a bunch of different other things you can configure it how you like. But you need that and once that's downloaded and installed uh, I'm using Firefox in my example here. This, I don't know if this will work in Google Chrome or not so that would be the other piece of software you would need is Firefox if this does not work in Google Chrome. Uh, it should work in Internet Explorer because if I remember correctly the Flash Player gives you plugins for both Internet Explorer and Firefox. So if you're on Google Chrome I'm sorry you're probably on your own on that one. Uh, but you can still try this and see if it works, okay? So, right click on your uh, SWF file that you want to run and go to Open With. Now, I already have it here. I have Firefox in here, but you probably won't see that. So, go to Choose Default Program, and then you can go to Browse. If you are on Windows as I am, then you need to go to Program Files, which in my case, or not my case, uh, your case as well will be program files x86 there'll be a folder in here for Mozilla for me however I go to program files and it is somewhere in here and click on that and then open if you're using Google Chrome or Opera or some other browser go ahead and try this with that browser but I cannot guarantee it'll work I don't even know if it'll work for Internet Explorer I only use Firefox, so this is what this tutorial covers. Press open, and I'm, I'm going to press cancel in my case because I already have it. Highlight it if it's not already highlighted. Check the box to make it the default program. Press OK, and there you go. It'll play. Now, to uh, take this file and make it bigger, you got to go to View. And by the way, this is Neil Hersig's, uh, one of his videos for Blender 2, 4, or 5, I guess, in this version. Uh, credit goes to him for that. I do not have his permission to show this video, which is why I paused it, and you're just going to see the screenshot here before it goes anywhere. Anyway, to see this in full screen, you've got to go to View, Full Screen, and now you can watch it in full screen. Wait till that zips away. It's not zipping away. Usually that goes away. Let me see if I close this out if that does it. Uh, maybe you have to be playing it. No. Well, normally that will make this fade away after a little bit, and then you'll have the full screen. That's the only way I know to make it bigger. But F11 does not work. I press it on my keypad, and I don't get anything. So I go here to this box to get it back. That's this middle box here. It just looks smaller over there. So let's try that again. There you go. So you just got to make sure the cursor is not anywhere near the top because it thinks you need it up there. And that's how you make it bigger. I don't know any other way to do it. And that's how you can watch a uh, NSWF video in Mozilla Firefox right on your Windows 7 computer and no extra codecs or anything. Except, of course, the Adobe Flash Player, which you should have anyway. So that concludes this tutorial. And thank you for watching.